Well, Scott, I hear it's still kind of chilly outside, but I hear we're going to have a little bit of relief outside coming up in a couple of weeks. Well, it's sooner than that. We actually have a teensy bit of relief on Wednesday this week. Uh, then it's going to get cold again, but it looks now like come Sunday, we will begin to break out of this deep next Sunday. We will come to break out of this deep freeze and finally get back to some more normal temperatures. So there is relief on the way, but it's just going to take it a bit of time to get here. Let's take a look outside right now on a Reed Automotive Group camera. And as we look outside, as we noted earlier, it just looks cold out there. And uh, that's because it is cold out there. It is, the temperature wise, it, we're about where we were last night. We're at 11 below zero and the dew points 18 below. The winds are not as strong tonight. so. It's better. I mean, it's still really cold, but uh, it's just not quite as brutal as it was last night because the winds have settled down some tonight. We're grateful for that. The humidity is 71%. So around northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas right now, we've got this light breeze coming in out of the northwest, and it is a light breeze compared to what it was 24 hours ago. And uh, most everybody, 10, 11, 12 below zero, is the air temperature Cameron in Kansas City, nine below, 13 below at Mound City, 12 below at Rockport, and also at Falls City, same thing at Bethany, and 11 below in several spots. And the wind chills, as we uh, look ahead, it's gonna feel like uh, about 26 below here in St. Joseph tomorrow morning, 20s uh, below zero, during the day tomorrow. By tomorrow evening, that'll settle down a little bit, 16 below, though it's still gonna be very cold. Again, overnight 28 below early on a Tuesday morning and then by Tuesday evening, the temperature, the, the wind chills will moderate just a little bit. In terms of the temperatures over the next few days, well, we're going to just go up and down a bit. So three for our high temperature tomorrow and then 10 on Tuesday up to 27 on Wednesday. That's going to feel <laughs> can feel good. 18 will be the high on Thursday, back down to eight on Friday. We're going to be cold Friday and Saturday, but again, by Sunday, we begin to break out of this finally, and it looks like we might stay broken out of it. I want to share with you an interesting little detail about uh, today's weather because we set a record today. It's not the kind of record you hear about a lot, but we did set a record today with this number right here, four below zero. That was our high temperature today. That is the coldest high temperature ever recorded on this date in St. Joseph. The previous record was zero, and that was uh, set back in 1979. By the way, tomorrow, the record cold high is four. That was set in 1972. We're only expecting three tomorrow, so we may set a record again tomorrow. The low so far, 13 below. 37 and 17 are the normal. 67, the record high in 1952. That would just feel wonderful. 16 below the record low back in 1979. Around the four states, a lot of places below zero. There are some single digits. No place is warm in this part of the country. In fact, this whole big area, it's even 13 down in Dallas tonight. So it is very chilly in uh, much of the country. The radar looks fairly quiet, but let's zoom in here because the whole state of Tennessee is under a winter storm warning tonight as the precipitation continues to move to the east and it's all associated with this mass of cold air and they're going to get two to four, maybe even five inches of snow in parts of Tennessee. For us, we may see a little bit of light snow tomorrow, not expecting any accumulation. We'll put this into motion and see what it looks like. We might see a little bit of snow coming in here early tomorrow afternoon, but it's going to pass by, get out of the way pretty quick. So let's take a look at our forecast tonight. We're going to have partly cloudy skies, the low 15 below zero with the wind chill 23 to 28 below. Tomorrow, increasing clouds, a high temperature of three, wind chill 15 to 25 below zero. And then on uh, Tuesday, sunshine up to 10 degrees, double digits will be nice, 27 on Wednesday. And then uh, on Thursday, 18 for a high temperature, back down to a high of only eight on Friday. We're back below zero Thursday and Friday night. But then we kind of warm up a little bit and um, we're going to have a chance for 30 degrees on Sunday. I'm hoping we'll see 40s in that following week. We got to wait a week to get there, <laughs> but hey, it's, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it doesn't look like an oncoming train. So it'll, it's going to take a little bit to get here, but I think we're going to break out of this before too long. All right. Well, I'll stay bundled up until we do. There